Alright, welcome to Flexbox Froggy, a game where you help Froggy and his friends by writing CSS code. So level 1 here says, guide this frog to the lily pad on the right using the justify content property, which aligns items horizontally and accepts the following values. So you've got it in writing there, but I'll pull up a little cheat sheet here so you can see the visualization for what this means. Um, basically, you can probably guess here that we're looking for flex end because we want the froggy to bump over to the right. So we'll put in flex end. There we go, level one, he's happy. Level two, we're still using the justify content property. Again, I'll pull up the, uh, the visualization here. Uh, you can see that we need to move, we've got a yellow friend here now, uh, we need to move them to the middle. So I would say here, we're looking for center. So justify content center. There we go. All right, level three. Help all three frogs, we've got a red friend now, find their lily pads by using the same justify content. This time their lily pads have lots of space around them. If you remember the options we had, that's kind of giving away the answer for this. Um, so I'll bring up the visualization again to see what I mean. There's two options you could, could have sort of gone with here. You've got space around or space evenly, I guess space between also maybe, but um, it is given us the answer. It says space around, and if you spell it correctly, that should get them there. There we go. Level four, now the lily pads on the edges have drifted to the shore, increasing the space between them. So we're still using the justify content, and we want the lily pads to have equal spacing between them. It's actually got the words there, space between, and that's one of the content, the justify content options, and that's gonna push the two to the outer um, edges of the page. Uh, so that's what the answer to this one is, space between. Once we put that in, they jump on their pads. For level five here, we're doing something different. So now we're using align items to help the frogs get to the bottom of the pond. Um, so we've got a visualization for that as well, which helps a lot and basically gives away the answer. Um, we wanted to go down to the bottom. Uh, you've got the text there, which explains it all, but uh, flex end will be this one. It aligns to the bottom of the container and that's where the frogs need to go to get to their lily pads. Done. Level six, we're gonna be using both the justify content and align items. Um, so kind of what we've learned so far, and we need to get the frog to the lily pad. It's in the dead center. Um, so there's two things we can do here in order to get it there. Um, firstly, we need it to move over to the center. So justify content center, and then the other way as well. So if we go align items, it'll be the same. It'll be center as well, because that's center center, and that will have the froggy jump to the middle. There we go. Level seven, we've got all three froggies back and we're using justify content and align items again. Uh, if I pull up the visualizations for these, again, it sort of will give it away. Uh, we've got space around for this one. Space between uh, would hit both edges, but the pads, the lily pads, are off the edges. Um, so space around is gonna get them to where they need to be that way. Uh, and then they need to leap down to the bottom of the page. Uh, we did this, I think, on maybe level three. And that one, as you can see, is flex end. That's gonna have them jump down to their lily pads and have a frog party. Okay, for level eight, we've got something new again. We've got flex direction. The frogs need to get in the same order as their lily pads using flex direction and it accepts the following values. So if we pull up a visualization again, you can see if you compare the ABC there to the green, yellow, and red, it's pretty straightforward. It's going to flip it the opposite direction and in the opposite corner, and that's exactly what we want. So row reverse, and that's all done. Number nine is flex direction again. So we've got the frogs across the top, and they're in rows. Uh, I'll pull up the visualization again to help explain what I'm saying. So flex direction, you can see the ABC, green, yellow, red, there in the row. And we want it to look more probably like the column here. So ABC will be down 
the left hand side and it'll be column so let's put in column and that should be good there we go we're up to level 10 all right so help the frogs get to their own lily pads although they seem close it'll take both flex direction and justify content to get there all right so what we have to do is flip them um, so if you remember we'll go flex direction and then uh, that'll be rev uh, row reverse and that'll flip them in the at least the right order and now we need to move them over to the left. They're in the right order. The spacing's fine, but they're just over on the right-hand side. So uh, using the justify content, uh, we're going to go flex. And there we go. With level 11, you're probably getting the hang of it. We're using the same two, flex direction and justify content. Um, I'll pull up the visualizations again. Um, just to cheat a little or at least show you what I'm doing here but what we'll do is flex direction and then column uh, you can see by the visualization we've done that before that turns them down the left hand side starting at the top left and then justify content we need to move it down so flex and there we go. All right, level 12, we're at the halfway mark. So help the frogs find their lily pads using flex direction and justify content. All right, so there's no real clues here, but we've done this before. So flex direction, if we went column, it would be at the top, as you see there. So we want reverse. That's going to put it down the bottom. Now you'll see that the spacing is all off. There's two options. It could be here, space around or space between. Um, space around... Uh, with the space around, items are evenly distributed in the line with equal space around them. Um, that probably won't work. Let's have a look at what that looks like. No, it's no good. So we want space between because the items are, are still evenly distributed in the line, but they start with the first item on the start line, which is the red there, and then the last item on the end line, which is the green. So that's what we need here. Perfect. Okay, for level 13, help the frogs find their lily pads using all the three things that we've been uh, talking about. So straight off the bat, I can see that they need to probably be centered. Um, I can see that they're in the wrong order. The red's at the end where the red lily pad is the first one. So that's going to have to be reversed. And the other thing is they need to, they're at the top, they need to be at the bottom. Um, so if I can find some combination there, so let's start with justify content and that needs to be centered. Uh, it's not working yet, but they'll be centered soon. Maybe when the others kick in flex direction, uh, as I said, the reds not in last place. It needs to be first. Um, so row reverse that one. There we go. Now they're right They Basically they just need to make the leap all the way down the bottom of the screen now. Uh, we've done that a few times in previous, that's flex end, and there we are. All right, level 14 is introducing a new property, the order property. So it says here, sometimes reversing the row or column order of a container isn't enough. In these cases, we can apply the order property to individual items. By default, items have a value of zero, but we can use this property to also set it to a positive or negative integer. So I think the answer is with just one here. That's all done, but um, I'll have a little play with some different numbers uh, to show you. So zero, two, and uh, it says here we can go to negative integer values as well. So uh, let's have a look at what that looks like. Put it back to one and we're done. So level 15 is just ordering again. Use the order property to send the red frog to the lily pad. Something I didn't mention in the last one that used order. Uh, take note here that it's dot red. So basically what we're applying this code to is the red class. It's going to identify with the red lily pad and the red frog. frog. So just negative one will make this one work. If I change it to one, it changes it around again. Um, 
we had a play with the last one, each of the different integers. Uh, but negative one, there we go. Okay, so we're up to level 16. We've got something new. We've got align self. Another property you can apply to individual items is align self. This property accepts the same values as align items. That's a clue. And it's values for the specific items. So two clues. It's the same as align items. And also they remember that it's a dot yellow. So it's a class yellow. So we're just touching the frog. So basically if you go flex end, that's going to put that down the bottom. Remember that from some of the earlier levels it's it's essentially exactly the same except it's only touching the one frog whereas before it would have moved all of them level 17 so we're combining order with align self to help the frogs to their destinations all right so straight off the bat uh similar to level 16 align self is um probably going to be flex end oh it's not working yet but that's what it'll be we want it at the bottom now the order, uh, remember here the dot yellow is affecting the yellow class. Um, so if we flick that to one, that's going to change the order. And you can see there it also put the flex end in for me. Level 18. Oh no, the frogs are all squeezed onto a single row of lily pads. So we're looking at a new property here called flex wrap. And it accepts the following value. So I might bring up a visualization here again. We've got no wrap, wrap reverse and wrap. Um, kind of gives it away once you see the visualization exactly it's almost exactly the same ABC and GH is where we want the others down the bottom there so if we go wrap that's going to move them exactly where they need to be level 19 is using a couple we're using the last couple we've used flex direction and flex wrap so this is affecting the whole pond um, so one is a little bit obvious here. I'll bring up the visualization again for the flex wrap part. Uh, as far as the flex direction is concerned, column, um, that's almost a giveaway because they're almost lined up in columns. It hasn't worked yet because I need to do the other one. Now flex wrap, again, it looks just like a wrap. And there we go. Fix them into columns and they're spaced correctly. All right, we're up to level 20. If you saw level 19, you probably can already work this out. Basically what we're doing here is a shorthand property for the two properties that we've already been using, flex direction and flex wrap. Uh, this, uh, this question, this level is almost exactly the same as the last one. It's just that now we're using shorthand. Um, so it's gonna be using flex flow. And again, it's affecting the whole pond. Um, so if we put in flex flow, and we do want the columns again, uh, and we also want the wrap again. So let's call it column wrap. There we go. All right, so we're up to level 21, and the frogs are spread all over the pond, but the lily pads are bunched to the top. It says you can use align content to set how multiple lines are spaced apart from each other. It takes the following values, uh, they're similar values to what we've already seen in the earlier levels, flex start, flex end, center, space between, space around. It says this can be confusing, but align content determines the spacing between lines, while align items determines how the items as a whole are aligned within the container. All right, so I think this is going to be flex start. It's It's got to move up. Um, they've definitely got to move up. Let's have a look at what flex end looks like though we'll do that first just have a quick look okay so that moves it down so opposite of that moves it up center one more move and we go to the top flex start there we go level 22 we're nearly at the end so we're still using align content uh, so if you remember from level 21, this is probably going to look like the exact opposite of that. Um, so if we go align content and then flex, we want it at the bottom. So flex end, that's all there is to this one, just moving them down. All right, level 23, the second last level, apparently the last one's pretty hard. Um, let's get to 23 first. So we need to use flex direction and align content. 
Uh, one thing I can see here for sure is that it's going to have to be centered eventually. Uh, and we need to sort of spin them. Uh, so the yellows need to be at the top. Okay, so if we start with flex direction, um, we want them in columns and we want them reversed. So column reverse, just as it sounds. So we're pretty close now. Um, and like I said at the start, I think they're going to need to be centered. So next we'll go align content and then center for that one. And that should do it, hopefully. Yep, there we go. All right, here we are. Level 24, the final level, the big boss. All right. So we can use basically anything that we've learned. All right, so what I might do, I think we've got four four rows of one, two, three, four rows of code. All right, so basically what I'll put I'll do is put down what I think I need. And then we might trial and error. Um, so I don't think I'll need the align self or align items. Um, they are more oriented towards the individual the individual elements. They were selecting classes. Um, and order, I don't think I'll need order. Order might get confusing here with all the others. It might be at the end, but uh, so what does that, it only really leaves uh, a couple of choices. So um, starting with column reverse, it doesn't do anything yet. I'm gonna have to wait until I put a little bit more in. Align content space between the spacing um, seems like it's possibly an issue here. Column reverse because the red may need to be on the other side if we were to align it to, yeah, to a side. There we go. Column reverse, column reverse. Probably not two column reverses though. Um, let's maybe change this one to wrap reverse. Okay. Well, I need my fourth property as well. Uh, so let's have a look. Uh, maybe I justify content. Uh, what we might try to do here uh, is center it. Now that hasn't done anything, but it's potentially because I've got this wrong again. Oh, we're close. Okay, so if I go like that, there we go. Boom. That's done. Smack that boss. All right, you win. Thanks to your mastery of Flexbox, you are able to help all of the frogs to their lily pads. Just look how happy they are. Oh, look how happy they are. There we go, we're all done.